housing. As we've said many times, finding housing in Sioux Falls is really tough right now. But imagine what it's like if you are a convicted felon. It is even more difficult. There are so many barriers facing those who are looking for adequate and safe housing. They have been negatively impacted by the justice system because they now have a criminal record. But as you're about to see, help the way. Never thought anybody cared about me before. And that was Caitlin Shriver when she graduated from drug court back in 2016. As an addict, she remembers how hard it was trying to find a place, any place, to live. I uh, became homeless. Um, I ended up in jail. Shriver says drug court saved her life, but also got her off the streets. Back then, it was a lot harder to find a safe place to live. Uh, like where you weren't hanging out with people around people that were doing drugs or like child molesters, honestly, and like just nowhere safe. That's going to change. Thanks to a new partnership announced today, Sioux Falls will get three and a half million dollars from the MacArthur Foundation and will become one of four cities from across the country that were hand selected to be a part of the Just Home Project, a national program designed to improve access to housing for those who have served time. Mayor Paul Tenhaken says he has seen the need and calls it critical. And the number one thing that they wanted to talk about, and we couldn't even get to all the questions, everyone had their hand in the air. They wanted to talk about housing and share stories how hard it is if you have a record to try and find housing or try and find a landlord that will take a chance on you. But it's always how do you get it off the ground? Where do you start? And this is the start. This is the first step. A step that will go a long way in helping people get back on their feet. One of the primary barriers to individuals in our community achieving and maintaining sobriety is having a safe, secure, sober home to go home to. No one knows that better than Shriver. There are so many people out there that want to be sober and clean and the where you live, where you feel safe is such a huge aspect to that. Like I think this project is going to make a huge difference for a lot of people. It's going to change lives. It is definitely going to change lives. And like Commissioner Dean Karski said that this is the first step. The next step will be to come up with a plan for how to best spend that money. And Shriver will help make those decisions as she's been asked to serve on the steering committee.